Since the beginning of the Kamen Rider fighting game series, there's one Kamen Rider fighting game which is requested frequently in the comment section. And that's why today we are going to take a look, according to you guys, one of the most iconic Kamen Rider fighting game ever, Kamen Rider Yuki on the PS1. And why I think it's overrated. Don't unsubscribe please! Just like every other Kamen Rider fighting game, this game starts with a CG intro. Yes! Bro, listen, Ryuki's or Yuki's opening song is like one of my favorite Kamen Rider theme song ever. It's so upbeat. Whoa, it actually looks pretty good. It's still PS1, right? Like, yeah, the graphic improved a lot. Yeah, this is Zolda, right? The name is Kamen Rider Zolda. Oh, we got Knight versus Yuki. Is it Yuki or Ryuki? Are there like only three riders though? Where, where are the other like... Oh, there you go. We got Oja, right? Oh, there you go. We even got the... The, the Flamingo Girl, what's the name? Does it still surprise you that I don't know the names of all the Yuki Riders? Alright guys, I heard a lot of good stuff about this game. Like, you guys can't stop talking about this game in the comments. So, let's see. Kamen Rider Yuki. Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go again. We got the coin system. So, I assume we got cards to collect just like before. For every fighting game, I always try to go to the practice or training mode first. But, for some reason, the last few Kamen Rider game doesn't have a training mode. Again, I don't think there's a training mode for this game. So, I think we're just gonna go straight into challenge mode. So, let's see. Whoa. I haven't seen... Ryuki, yeah, is this like the first episode or something? It's time to actually start our one-player challenge mode. And I must say, mm -hmm. it's pretty disappointing. So I'm guessing we we are playing as uh, Yuki. Do we have like the the newborn form? Is it the newborn form? Yeah, is this called a newborn form? Okay, I know it's called a blank form, guys. Oh, it looks kind of weird though. Oh, the face is like glitching so hard right now. I thought we we're gonna play as the like the that form, but I guess no, we're gonna play as we Why is the crouch part that bright? Why is it like highlighting the, the crouch part? What? Stage two? Instead of calling it a challenge mode, I would actually call it more of a tutorial mode. So there are five stages in this challenge mode. And every stage will introduce us a new advent card with a single slideshow. Like seriously? A yeah. single slideshow with voiceover, that's all you got? Come on, even the first Kamen fighting game got an in-game cutscene. We need to use the card to defeat the level's enemy, and, and that's it. It's basically just teaching us the purpose of different cards. But anyway, let's go back to stage 2, where we got our sword vent card. Seems like we are- Oh! So it's literally like a, a card game. So we can like, pick the cards, but I don't have like one card right now. Oh, why am I so slow? Why am I so slow? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay, I see. So, it, the cards are like abilities, I assume. Yes, my assumption is correct. Let me quickly go over the card mechanics of this game. So, each rider got multiple cards to use during their battles. Each of the riders' cards differ from each other's, but they mainly fall to a few categories. We have the weapon card, which summons a weapon. We have a shield card, which summons a shield. We also have some summon cards, which allow us to summon the contract monster directly for an unblockable attack, which I don't think it's good at all. And when our enemy's health is down to a certain point, we can use the finisher card. And once again, it's another unblockable attack. H how can I summon my card? Okay, there you go. I summon my card like that. Alright, so now I can use my sword to attack. Oh no, this game is like a step back. The sound effects are so shit. Whoa, okay, we actually got like the mirror monster. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, so I can change my cards. And then I can just, yep, I can use them. Oh, I see, I see. But how do I use the ability of the cards though? Ah, oh, there we go, okay. How do I block? Okay, block is back. Okay. Wow, I run so damn quick though. Like, like look at this. <laughs> For the next stage, we receive a shield card, which in my opinion really doesn't help that much. Okay, what's the point of the shield? As I started to get used to the controls, I can slowly see the flaws of the game. Dude, <laughs> it feels like two elderlies fighting. What is this? 
Why are we like... Our attacking range is so short. And we are so slow. Look at this jump. What is this? Uh, eat this, bro. Yeah, you like that? Am I playing this wrong? Why? why is this game so slow? And why are you guys like praising this game a lot? Alright, let me explain why I think this game is a step down from the Agito one. In fact, I don't think this is a good fighting game in general. The gameplay is not really good. First of all, the controls, there's a slight delay on it. And it's always a bad thing if you have slight delays on a fighting game. And secondly, there's not a lot of combo strength. At least that I discovered on my own because there's no move list. So that's why a lot of time you see me just doing one single punch and one single kick and then I stopped. And then, once again, the speed of the game is very, very slow. I don't know why it revert back to the old fighting game slowness since they did a good job on the Agito one, which feels snappy and the sound effect is so much better than this. Okay, so... Oh my god, my moves are so quick right now. Fast as fuck, boy. I'm also not a big fan of those cutscene unblockable attacks. You will basically took damage immediately after they use the cards. You can't block during the cutscene, and they don't need to land a punch before the cutscene starts. It's just, I don't know, man. I don't really see why everyone is praising this game. I mean, it's cool that we got all the 13 riders in one single fighting game, plus the mirror monsters, but the gameplay is just not that good at all. Ah, <sighs> enough of the rant. Let's go back to the challenge mode. Is this like... A zebra mirror monster? It's my first time seeing monsters like this. Can I rider kick people? No, there's no dedicated rider kick button. Look at the range of the grab though. Like, look at this. Look at it. What is this? Okay, let's see the CG. Yes, now this looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, he just takes takes it. You can't do anything. He just takes it. And so we arrive at the last level, stage 6. Nothing really special. I just need to use all the cards and defeat Oja. And that's it. Are we done already? Oh, and then we unlock... Oh! So I think we're gonna play as all 13 riders? Like... 13 story mode? Maybe? Is that it? <laughs> of course not. Cause that's the end of the one player challenge mode. That is it. And well, after beating that mode, the next logical thing to do is check out the one player battle mode. Whoa. I like the background. Oh, there you go. Finally, we can see the riders, like the playable players. We got, oh, we got all 13 of the riders. Wow. All right, okay. It seems like we need to play this single player battle mode for every single character to unlock the other character. So let's try to do that instead. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that the challenge mode, it's only kind of like a tutorial more than like the story mode. So I don't know. Let's try to play as Comrade at night right now. Let's try it. Okay, we are fighting. Okay, what's the name of this? Rhino Kamerider. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what card we got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is that attack? Okay. Oh, I don't like the sound effect. It sounds like old game sound effects. Okay, let's see. What is this? Ooh, I forgot about this weapon. Okay. Oh, the sound effect is so shit though. Can you hear that? Like, blah, blah, blah. it's not good. All right, let's see. Let's see the final attack. <laughs> it looks better in the show. Okay, the tornado looks so much better in the show. Okay, what's this? Woo! Okay, what's the purpose of the cape though? Is that a cosmetic thing only? What can what can I do with the cape? Alright, now we are fighting. Who, who who's this? Empira? Is that the name? Like the the, the the ship guy? The gold guy? After fighting for a couple more rounds, the imperfection of the game is really, really getting to me. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm gonna start a war in the comment section, but this game is so overrated. I think the content in the game itself is very lacking. Like, I, I feel like the Agito uh, fighting games that we played before is so much better. Just because of, first of all, the fighting mechanics are better, the sound effects are better, the speed is way quicker, and like, I feel like actually I'm controlling the characters instead of like slogging, like very slowly. Look at this, we are going back to like the first Kamarada fighting game. Look at that move, look at this. Am I, I, am I doing something wrong? Because I heard that a lot of people look forward for me to, you know, check out this Kamurada Yuki game. I'm not quite sure. Like, look at this attack. Look how slow this attack is. He needs to, 
switch his hands for the sword in order to attack. All right, let me see the grab animation at least. Oh, not from him. <laughs> not from him, me. Can I grab someone? Look how slow the grab is. There you go. One of my favorite Kamarada design. This is uh, Kamarada Femi. Femi. Final stage. So I think there's only eight stage. Okay, this is Odin. I also like Odin's design. I like how clean he it looks. It's a little bit um, lacking on the lower half. I don't even know he got like swords like that. Uh oh. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck. Okay. I Actually challenging right now. Okay, I see. I see. All right, let me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> just like that. And just like that, we are done with our first character's battle mode. You guys want to check out the end screen? One player battle mode clear. Oh, man, I thought we got to have like different ending like what happened um, after the character gained their wish oh we unlock camarada tiger nice realizing a new character will most likely to be unlocked after every single battle mode i uh, set up a new goal for the video but anyway i think we at least need to finish every single character's battle mode just to unlock everyone i want to see this whole page be unlocked at least that okay this is caesar right camarada caesar before we actually start our one player battle mode let me quickly go check out the card mode first uh, i want to see if we can unlock any card to be used in a battle. Whoa. What is this? What? Huh? We are actually gonna play a mini game. All right. <laughs> so I need to focus on the cards. Ah. So what's the point of the card? That's it? No, I thought we gotta, you know, we can get new cards to, to use in the game. No, man, this card mode is really a letdown. I thought since Yuki uses card anyway, we can unlock some of them and use it in the gameplay. But no, it's just a collectible to unlock other riders. Well, anyway, this is the part where I really, really start to grind a one player battle mode in order to unlock every single playable character. Instead of making it another montage, why not spice things up and make it like a character showcase, huh? Let's begin with Kamen Rider. I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was writing, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back like, here I go again. Go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like the paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I said the giddy, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo. I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Pull them out of blame, money made me change. Cardi in my rain when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. They have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like 80 ways. Kids, if you won't take a lazy day. Wife, you want me to me take a break. I keep going to the paper straight. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I mean, she's okay, but just like every other character in this game, the attacks are just. I don't know, they are not combos. Like, this is the only good attack because of the range of this character. And every time when I. When I reduce the health to a certain amount, I just use these two cards and combo them. I cutscene kill them, basically. L look at this, just like that. They can't do anything, they just die immediately. I don't. I mean, the card system is creative, but I just hope it's not a cutscene. I hope you can do something. Like. At least uh, a, a dodge, a block, you know, just like every other fighting game and not just unblockable, you know. Finally, after more than six hours of grinding, we have come to the end. Sort of. Okay, everyone, we are in day four. So, as you can see, as I said before, we have Kamarada Yuga yet to be unlocked. And also, two question mark, which, after I did some research, is Yuki survive and then Knight survive. So, I think our ultimate goal in this game is just to unlock Yuki survive and Knight survive. Because the way to unlock Kamarada Yuga is actually one of the hardest things to do. So, basically, you need to beat the one-player battle mode for every single character, which... 
I really don't want to do it. I'm not a fan of the battle system, especially the uh, contract monsters. I don't really like it. So in order to unlock Kamada Knight Survive, all I need to do is unlock all 64 cards in the card mode. As you guys can see, I've been playing this game for so long that I have so much coin. I have 615 coins. So hopefully I can unlock 64 cards using 600 coins. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, so we have this mini game thing again. I almost forgot about this because it's been so long. It's been four days since I played this game. Now, it's gonna take a while. Let's just speed this thing up. Now that's a unique card. Look at this. What card is that? Is is it like from like uh there's a story significant of that? Well, anyway, we hundred percent it and so after all that hard work, finally, night survive. Alright, let's see. Yay! Oh, the, oh, it's on the side. Here we go. Yuki survive. Sorry, I mean night survive. So in order to unlock the Yuki survive mode, we need to beat uh, the battle mode with uh, night survive. So let, let's see. Let's see. Okay, the range is still shit. Look at that punch. What is this punch? Okay, it, the range is not good. So it's uh oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. All right, let's let's try the card. What's this? Okay, it's a long range attack. Was so slow, Nani. Alright, let's just finish this. Uh, so it's basically like every other character. I must say, Knight Survive, just like every other character in this game, is pretty underwhelming. So I spent some time and finished Knight Survive's battle mode. And I was not even paying attention when the game ends. Okay, so we done with the battle mode and let's see do we unlock yuki survive why do you still give me coins dude no i don't need the coins thank you all right there you go there you go finally done i spent four days on this it's the most time I spent on one single Kamerider fighting game. Let's see if it's worth it doing all of that to unlock Yuki Survive. Let's see, let's see. I got a sword. Oh, nice. I'm quick. Long range. Pretty good. Oh, the punches are quick. Oh. Okay. Okay, it transformed. Nice, nice. It, it's the attack itself is pretty generic, but the transformation is pretty good. All right, all right. Oh, what? Oh, so the dragon is at my back. Nice. But I can't see it though. Like it's off screen. Oh, well, it's better than the ultimate Kuga form. Definitely. All right. What? What is that attack? That is so... What is... That... <laughs> the startup is so slow. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. It's not cool at all, Odin. That looks so weird.